Circling in front of Kabul International Airport, the gates are closed. The Taliban, with their commandeered U.S. weapons and vehicles, run security. No one can get through. Even filming on the street is not allowed. The Taliban has dispersed crowds of people. They now wait further down Airport Road. This is my father's certificate. It's there we meet Ezatullah. His father worked as a guard for two U.S. contractors. So this is your father, is Hayatuddin. Hay Hayatuddin. Yeah. He comes here every day to plead his father's case for evacuation. I am scared, but what can I do? The Taliban run after us, they chase us, they beat us. I saw women under people's feet in a stampede. I saw a dead body taken from the airport and put in a car. We have no other option. The Taliban is in charge of securing the airport and protecting U.S. forces and evacuees from being overrun. They are forceful in their crowd control, relying on gunfire and beatings to disperse the thousands who gather. U.S. forces can be seen around the perimeter, just meters from Taliban patrols. People plead their case for evacuation, raising paperwork to the tower, but they are asked to move on. Afghans complain Americans have fired towards them also. We're even scared of bringing our documents with us every day. We're here because we want them to do something for us, because we've done them favors and now we're left here without a future. Every day the numbers of Afghans looking for an exit swells. Hundreds gather outside the British, French and Canadian embassies. Hope spreads, but rumors spread faster. Most Western embassies have closed, but they don't know that. 20,000 applicants have applied for U.S. special immigrant visas, including their families. It's estimated 70,000 are eligible for evacuation. There are thousands more foreign nationals and Afghans who worked with other nations, also waiting for a flight out. More than 18,000 people have been evacuated since the Taliban took over on Sunday. And still, the U.S. is expanding its eligibility criteria and doubling the number of evacuation flights from this weekend. Yet, many people tell us they are too scared to come to the airport because it would mean passing Taliban checkpoints. For those that do attempt it, they brace for crowds and gunfire and the disappointment that they will likely be left behind. Charlotte Ballas, Al Jazeera, Kabul.